is uh, Houston, Texas. It is September the 14th. We haven't had rain forever. And we have not had chemtrails forever. We are getting chemtrails now. Any time that a chemtrail is laid, that's not contrails, but chemtrails, and any time that they're laid, within two to three days, it rains. Uh, we've noticed this pattern all over the country, all over the United States. Uh, in Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Texas. So we might be getting some rain. Now, it's said that chemtrails are made or formed, uh, are made by man-made uh, to test the weather patterns or fronts that are coming in. That's one thing that's been said about it. Other things or other people say that they use chemtrails to change the weather patterns. Not sure if that's true or not. But we do know one thing, the weather patterns have changed. Worst drought in 175 years in Texas. Well, something that I'm noticing is that these chemtrails are directly to the northwest of us where the fires were at Bastrop. Oh, you tell me if chemtrails are true or not. Are these contrails or are they chemtrails? These are chemtrails because you can tell by the way they're hanging in the air and slowly, slowly descending to earth. They are not contrails. Contrails don't do that. They evaporate. Are they changing the weather patterns? They're doing something today. We'll see if it rains. Well, this is what I do know. I was making videos on chemtrails uh, last year and the beginning of this year and uh, all the way into spring and then chemtrails stopped. All the chemtrails stopped around this area and we've had the worst since then. We've had the worst drought in 175 years. Now we have droughts coming, or we have the uh, chemtrails coming back at the end of the summer. Will that make it rain? Is this something that the government is doing for as a test for weather? Uh, what they say is is like a part of harp, or it's weather uh, manipulation to be used as a weapon. I don't know, but it just can't. It's adding up and this is one of them right there why are we having chemtrails now Anyhow, this is the day after chemtrails, chemtrail footage I shot. There was some this morning, 
but you can see we have clouds forming now and they're all around us this one directly above me looks like rain no rain is supposed to be forecast for another week or so but the chemtrails tell a different story so do chemtrails cause weather patterns to change or do they mark the weather as far as the weather patterns uh, a way for the weather service to determine how winds or currents blow in the sky <coughs> that is a question we do have something strange right up there Clouds forming behind us. Kim trails directly above me. If you can see it right up in that area. It seems to be changing the weather patterns as I speak. Streak here, streak here, streak here. Hope you can see it. changing into these large anomalous clouds very interesting you can see it right here this is day three of chemtrails in the air uh, still no rain. I'm just keeping a a uh, watch or a, a documentation of what is going on as far as if there are real chemtrails or if these are contrails. Uh, contrails are made by airplanes just whenever they go into the atmosphere and as there's friction from the wings or from the jets or from whatever it makes these contrails. Chemtrails are something different they're shot out from airplanes. They're actually shot out from the back of airplanes. And it's some kind of a gas that contains like barium and aluminum in it. And supposedly these are bad for people's health. And uh, we think uh, in Germany they proved that they were used by the weather department to chase weather patterns or to see computer generations of how these things, these streams go across uh, the, the nation, the nation of Germany or the country of Germany and they do the same thing here they say uh, however we don't know because there's uh, I've been following these for the last two three years and I've got some really cool documentation some footage of these things forming uh, clouds and whatnot are having rain the next day this tree right there you can see is dead and the way you can tell dead trees is whenever the leaves die and they turn brown and they're still on the tree itself without falling that means that that tree is dead we're supposed to have 660 million trees die in Houston alone from this drought
Alright, this is day four, day five. Uh, after the, we've had chemtrails for three days. And then yesterday, there were still, yeah, four days we've had chemtrails above us. And then today it started raining. Uh, we have been without rain in Houston since I last documented the chemtrails, which was back in the winter, early, early spring. And now it's pouring down after the chemtrails. So we had chemtrails early spring that stopped the weather, evidently. And now we have chemtrails that have started the weather again. And we've had four days of chemtrails and it's pouring down rain right now. Lightning, storming, here it comes. We haven't had rain in, it's been a good, oh, it's been a good while. Yeah, I don't even know how many months, probably 11 months. A good 10 months at least, minimum. And uh, here it comes, we're in it now. So, I'm gonna get in out of it, let the storm come on. Here it comes. Camera's wet. I'm wet. Storm's coming. Houston, Texas. This is Jackson Burns. At what could be the end of the great Houston, Texas drought. 2011. We have rain. Ah. We're still going, right? Yep, we have rain coming in. And man, it feels good. It's been a long time since we've had this rain. <laughs> 